Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. Qasr prayer is a shortened form of the Islamic prayer, Salah, that is performed by travellers. It allows them to shorten the four unit, Raqqa prayers, Dur, Asr and Isha, to two units, while Fajr remains unchanged at two units. This concession is granted to make it easier for travellers to fulfil their religious duties while on a journey. The rationale behind Qasr prayer is to facilitate ease for travellers, recognising the challenges they face while on the road. By shortening the prayers, travellers can fulfil their religious obligations without the same time commitment required for the full prayers. This accommodation is a mercy in Islam, emphasising the practicality and flexibility of the faith. The Quran does not specifically mention the Qasr prayer, but it does emphasize the importance of prayer and being mindful of Allah. And when you travel throughout the land, there is no blame upon you for shortening the prayer, especially if you fear that those who disbelieve may disrupt or attack you. Indeed, the disbelievers are ever to you a clear enemy. Quran, Surah An-Nisa, 4101. This verse is often interpreted to allow for the Qasr prayer during travel, as it acknowledges the challenges and potential dangers travelers may face. There are also hadiths that mention the Qasar prayer. For example, it is reported that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companions would shorten their prayers during travel. One such hadith is, narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet, peace be upon him, once stayed for 19 days and prayed shortened prayers. So when we travel, led and stayed for 19 days, we used to shorten the prayer. But if we traveled and stayed for a longer period, we used to offer the full prayer. This hadith indicates that while shortening the prayer is allowed during travel, praying the full prayer is also rewarded, indicating flexibility in the practice based on circumstances. Overall, Qasar prayer reflects the balanced approach of Islam, accommodating the needs of its followers while upholding the importance of prayer as a pillar of the faith.